What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Today, we're gonna talk about a company who is making handcrafted, American-made rifle cases, backpacks, discreet carry gun cases, and the name of that company is Lynx Defense. So the first thing we're gonna do is go over what Lynx Defense is all about. Then I'm gonna tell you the different things that they sell, because if you're like me, you're probably not familiar with this company yet. Uh, after that, we'll go over the features of this specific bag, and then at the end, as always, I will give you my pros, cons, and what I think of it overall. So, Lynx Defense, like I said, makes handcrafted American-made gun bags. The best part, everything has a lifetime warranty, uh, and they claim they are the best soft cases on the market, and they say each bag gets 15 to 25 minutes of quality control from two different people before it leaves their door. So that is uh, pretty impressive. As far as rifle cases, they have two different ones. They have a 36 inch case and they have a 42 inch case. Now they have a couple different range bags slash pistol bags if you're looking for one of those. They have a backpack that has some potential. I am a backpack snob to the max, but this backpack looks pretty good and uh, hopefully I can get my hands on one and try it out and see if I like it and if it fits my iPad Pro. That's always very important to me. Uh, and then they also make three different size of these discreet carry rifle cases, which is one of the ones I got. The smallest one is called the Blythe, the largest one is called the Bronx, and then the one I have is just right. It is called the Bureau and it is 36 inches long. Now the biggest feature for me is the discreet nature of the bag. When you look at this, it looks like a tennis racket bag or something along those lines. It does not scream, gun, I have a gun, and in the northeast here with all the anti-gun Karens. I prefer to have a discreet bag and just so I don't have to hear it. Uh, the, bag, the bag is geared towards a smaller PDW, AR-15 pistol, um, SBR, something like that. You know, I threw my Mossberg Shockwave in there just because I needed a good bag for it. But anything uh, with a 10.5 inch barrel or less should fit in no problem. On the front, it does have a very nice zipper pocket on the outside. The zipper itself is very, very smooth. Um, you could keep uh, targets in here or anything small like that. If anybody knows me, I just keep some range snacks in there in case I need them. Uh, the handle stitching seems very, very durable. It's double stitched. It has an X pattern. Um, the material is very, very durable, but it's not padded at all. This is probably the only thing on the bag that I'm a little bit hesitant with. Everything on the bag seems super, super nice and high quality. And the handle... I'm not sure about the handle. I'm a little hesitant on the handle. Uh, the strap I do like. The strap is padded. It's very, very nice. It's adjustable. Now you can wear the strap two different ways. Uh, you can either wear it uh, across your shoulder using the two D-rings on the top, kind of like a, br a briefcase you would. Uh, the way I like to carry it is using the two D-rings on the back of the case. Um, and that way you can actually wear it across your back like a sling. For me, that works just a little bit better. Uh, the zippers, again, to open the case are very, very nice. They're smooth, they're solid. They never got snagged, didn't have any problems with it. They're not the, like the really popular zippers are the YKK zippers or whatever they're called. It's not those, but it seems good enough for a rifle bag. I didn't have any issues with them. Uh, before we look inside, I wanna thank the sponsor of today's video. There's a new channel sponsor here and it's Ocean State Armory. Ocean State Armory is a local company to, uh, to me here in Rhode Island. It is one of my good, good friends. They also they offer laser engraving. The main thing they do is Cerakoting. Like check out their website or their Instagram. They do a lot of good Cerakoting and a lot of custom themed guns as well. And then they have a, a custom line of rifles where you can kind of custom build the rifle however you want. I can't put a link down to the website because YouTube hates freedom. Just Google Ocean State Omri, and if you are going to buy anything, hook me up. Use the discount code Tiberius. It will save you for a few bucks. It will make me a few bucks. Ocean State Omri gets a sale, and everyone is happy. All right, let's move along to the inside of the case. Now, the material itself is a 500D Kadura, which is good, durable fabric. On the inside, I got to read this. It's poly propylene fluted corrugated plastic wrapped in closed cell foam. Wow, that's a mouthful. There is corrugated plastic in here and it's wrapped in foam. And if you can feel the case, the cover, the sides, the bottom, it's very thick to protect the gun, but it's also very, very padded to make sure the gun doesn't scratch or anything bad happens to it. 
Inside you have two zipper pockets with those same uh, same type of zippers, and they have very all the zippers have very nice pull tabs on them, by the way. Um, and again, the zipper is very very smooth. Inside these pockets here, you could easily keep some air protection, some ammo, whatever range accessories you need. They're pretty good sized pockets. Um, the the walls again are pretty high. They're a good four inches high. So if you have accessories on your gun, like a light or something, that won't be an issue. It can fit in there as well. Uh, and again, the sides, bottom, top, everything is padded extremely nicely. One of the cooler features I like on this bag is the entire bottom of the bag accepts hook and loop Velcro type material. So it's nice for a couple different reasons. One, it comes with these three different straps. So you, and they're removable and you can put them wherever you want. So whatever firearm you have in here, you can move those straps around and customize it to that specific firearm to make sure you lock it in place and it doesn't move at all. And you can really, really snug the fire down, firearm down much tighter than most gun cases and I love that they're movable so you can customize it no matter what gun and what size gun you have in here. So they did a really, really nice job with the tie down straps. Another nice thing about the Velcro on the bottom or the hook and loop on the bottom is you could throw your favorite patch in there. Even more important is you can put a lot of Velcro accessories in there and Lynx Defense does sell a bunch of Velcro accessories as well. So if you have a med kit or pistol pouches or magazine pouches or pistol, uh, pistol um, holster, excuse me, me. Any of those things can easily be held down on this hook and loop and held in place if you want to add more than just a gun. Let's pull up the dimensions and the price. No, this is not a cheap bag, but to find something that's high quality and made in the United States, you are going to pay a premium for it. That's just the way it is. It's not made in China. So it may not be the bag for everyone, but uh, I'm skipping ahead here. But overall, I do think it's worth the money if you're willing and able to spend that money. Now, as far as the testing that I did, um, I haven't been shooting this gun a lot. I have no reason to shoot this gun right now. But what I did is I go to the range at least once a week, most of the time two or three times a week. So every time I went to the range over the past few months, I just brought this bag with me anyway. I brought it, tossed it in the car like I always do when I got to the range, took it out and tossed it on the table. And I just treated it as if I was going to use this gun every single week. So it went, went to the range with me. I didn't count, but at least 15 times, if not 20 times, I did uh, use this bag in a silly little skit I did. I don't know if I'm even going to share it on Instagram or not, but I have these foam rubber dummies and I pretended they were talking to me and somebody at the range came around the corner and was like, what are you doing? Who are you talking to? It was so embarrassing. But I did a stupid little skit where the rubber dummies were talking to me. I took the shotgun out of the bag and I blasted the rubber dummies and I don't know. It was fun. All right, let's talk about the pros and the cons and what I think of it overall. This is probably going to be a fairly quick video. I think this is a durable range bag. I think it's going to last for a very, very long time. I think the zippers are decent. I think the padding and the protection for your firearm is very, very good. More than anything else, I love the discreet nature of the bag. Again, especially being up here in the Northeast with all these anti-gun Karens around. Kind of looks like a tennis racket or something. Maybe I'll stick like a Biden sticker on here and really try to fool people. I don't know. We'll see. As far as cons, more of a hesitation than the con. I'm going to say the carry handle. While I think it's durable and I think it's fine, like I'll say it this way. I'm going to give the bag a solid A. The bag is very, very nice. The pockets, the zippers, everything I mentioned is good. The carry handle, I'll give it a C plus. Uh, while it's not bad, I think they can do a little bit better job on the carry handle. Overall, it's a very nice bag. If you're looking for a high quality bag that's made in the USA, this should probably be on your list. Now, if you are gonna pick anything up from Lynx Defense, please hook me up, do me that favor, and use the affiliate link down in the video description. Really, really helps keep the channel going. Just so you know, Lynx Defense did send this bag out to me free of charge. I never let that affect the review in any way, shape, or form. I still told you guys the pros, the cons, the features, everything is honestly, as I possibly could. Before you go, hold on, time out, don't go anywhere. I need to thank the sponsor of the video one more time and that is Ocean State Armory. Again, local friend of mine putting out very good services, very good products, laser engraving, awesome seracoding, custom firearms, whole bunch of stuff, check out their website. Um, use code Tiberius, save yourself a few bucks and everyone is happy. These are the other companies who support me with affiliate links. Again, the discount code, the coupon code, the website, whatever. 
you know where down in the video description. We have Tiberius swag if you want to support the channel and look extra goofy in a hoodie or a t-shirt or a pair of socks you know where the link is. Now I am on two social media platforms, kind of two, three, whatever. Um, if you want to know what reviews I'm working on right now in real time before they come out on YouTube, you can follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and while you're at it, you might as well follow, follow me on Parler, even though I do nothing on Parler. What else do I have? I forgot. The only other thing, most important, I want to thank you boys and girls for watching. It is greatly, greatly appreciated. Every time you guys like a video, comment, subscribe, enable the bell notification. You should go do all that stuff right now. Share a video. Anytime you guys do any of that stuff, it really, really helps me out. And I truly, truly appreciate it. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.